What's up, everybody? Welcome to hopefully the final episode of Spectros Beyond the Portals. I say final, final episode because hopefully it is going to be the final episode, even if it does go a bit long. Uh, I don't think it will, but mm, we'll see. Anyway, you guys, last episode we dispel Crux's Dark Vortex. Uh, not Vortex, Force Field. Invaded his castle, and hopefully we're gonna be fighting him pretty soon. So if you guys are excited for that, then congratulations! <laughs> um, last episode we left it off here, entering what looks to be a, a boss room. Um, I, last episode was kind of short, uh, cause I honestly thought I was going for about 30 or so minutes. It turned out it was closer to 23. I, I do have a couple bonus episodes planned though. So, that's that. Wait. Jado? Is that Jado? Holy crap, I thought we killed him. Yeah, I thought I defeated him on Genshi. <laughs> huh? Two Jados. So we meet again, Valen, or shall I say, Spectral Master? Two Jados. How's that possible? I smacked you down big time last we met. <laughs> Uh, you may have won last time, but that was merely my shadow. I destroyed your shadow, too. I, I... The last time we fought this guy, we fought him and his shadow. What the fuck? There's like a fragment remain, or what's going on here? As long as my physical body remains here, I shall live for eternity. Uh, okay, so even his body that I thought I killed was just... His shadow disguise? Damn. Quite simple, you see. That wasn't the will you? You gotta be kidding me. You may have defeated my shadow, but it survived and found, found its way back to me. The old man's escape capsule was a perfect time place. Oh my god. That that shadow thing that's been attacked well, cannibalizing the other high crawl. It's been Jado the whole time. How many of you guys saw that one coming? Don't lie to me. I mean, I knew. I, I was trying to act mysterious, but I already knew. You snuck on board a ship back in Genshi? <laughs> I must say, your cargo room proved most comfortable. Wait a sec. So the castle suddenly came back to life and showed, showing the coordinates for this place. That was... Yep, it was all my doing. I needed to find a way back to Malik. I was lost in there on this planet. Our way back to this room. Thanks for a ride, most pleasant. I would not have made it back here without you. Why? Because he was so weak. And even after eating the high crawl, he wasn't very strong, so he couldn't teleport back to Malik. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, how good does it feel to return to my body? Now, before I fight, Felt such tremendous power. And that's something else for, for which I must thank you for. For without your help, I never would have been able to seize the power of the other high fall by eating them. Damn. Behold, I now have the power of Gilboris, Ronos, and Maja. And yourself. With that power, I shall become the ultimate force in the universe. No, you won't. And I think it was all at the hands of a single young human. No, no, you're the one who ate the other high fall. It was all thanks to you. Well, I mean, I guess I killed him and left the corpse in slot. Yeah, there, no need to get so angry. I was trying to thank you. But I'm afraid the fun's over, for now it's time to defeat you with my invincible new power. Okay, anyone who says they're invincible is usually about to die. Oh, it's multicolored. Neat. Yeah. 
Prepare the fish to the power of all four high core at once. Jado! You're not the only one who's become stronger. I'll show you what spectrums can do! I, I, I like them better the other way. To be absolutely honest. Well, when, when we find them on Genshi, basically. Just because it, I, I don't know, I just think he looks better now. Now that he's all multicolored, yeah, he, he, he looks kind of gross. In, in my opinion, I mean, that's part of why I don't like a lowland grime or muck. Maybe because. It, I, I like Glima and Muck of the original forms because they look so cool, but their lowland forms just look like... I, I, I don't know, like, uh, someone dumped a bunch of paint, different color paint, in one can, shook it up, and suddenly it came to life. Which... Oh, okay, that doesn't sound too outrageous for Pokemon because... Some of the Pokemon are pretty insane. Especially if you look at the, um, the Pokedex descriptions. But, yeah, I, I, I don't like a lone muck with Lima, honestly. They just look so... I, I just don't like them. And, uh... Since I'm on the subject of Pokemon while well, I'm kinda kicking Jado around the uh around the arena, I thought he'd be a lot tougher than this. Um I, I play just about every generation except uh Sun and Moon. Because unfortunately when Sun and Moon came out I didn't have my free DS, but I'm hoping to get one sometime this weekend. And I probably won't get Sun or Moon because I don't like the way it looks, but just letting you guys know, you know. Oh, that's how we get the final cube. I kind of thought it was from him. Neat. Neat. Yeah, I thought, I thought he'd be a lot tougher than this. Oh, he looks so pissed. How can this be? No one can defeat me. Dude, I just defeated you. GTFO. Don't you get it, Jado? Good always triumphs over evil. Sometimes I wish evil would triumph over good a little more. Sometimes it seems like evil triumphs against good, and then the good guys mysteriously find a new power, somehow master it immediately, and defeat the people who just defeated them. Like, uh, like Power Rangers. Your know, history. <laughs> no, it's not over! There's one last chance. Perhaps he will give me the strength I need to win. Yeah, praying to Jesus ain't gonna help you, man. Master Crux, help me. Grant me more power. Oh, Crux. Okay, that might work. He, he, he might. He might listen. Hey, get back here. I'll be more than Jesus. Oh, oh, he didn't even teleport very far either. Uh, we're gonna be fine Crux here in a minute, so let's heal up. Alright, let's go kick Crux's ass. Alright, let's go kick Crux's ass. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm trying to avoid the uh, mini vortexes so we can get straight to Crux. Oh, well, that was easy. Well, that's one big door. I wonder if that's what Crux is. Probably. I better get ready just in case. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Open says me. Oh, God, this looks so beautiful. Master Crux, I beg of you, please help me. Grant me power beyond measure. 
please. I must have more power. I shall begin to fade away. Very well. Thank you, Master Crooks. You shall have new power. Yes. And a new body. Wait a moment. A new body? No, wait! Oh, he got made part of the Qualosphere. Where am I? Master Crocs, what's happening to me? Ah! Gone. The Qualosphere is a perfect new body for you. I shall banish you to one of the endless regions of space, spreading my name far and wide. Now go! Hmm? Who's there? I'll just see yeah, a do typical door to door salesman. You must be Crux. Ah, so we finally meet, young Spectral Master. I'm Wallen, Nana Ill Planet Patrol, oh, oh, uh, Space Patrol. And I'm here to take you down. You presume to defeat me? You're more foolish than I thought. <laughs> You're not gonna be laughing when I'm through with you. I'm gonna show you what the spectrals can do. Oh, damn. No, it was I who shall show you. What the? Is that a Prismod? There shall only be one spectral master standing when all is over, and it shall be me! You're a spectral master, and how come you use crawl, not spectrals? Because there's tremendous power in their numbers. Well, I have another surprise for you, Warlin. After ages of researching the dark distant corners of time and space, I've created the ultimate creature. A creature crafted from both crawl and spectral. A creature more powerful than any that came before it. Behold and despair! The true dark spectrals. Crocs! I'm here to save Nanio and the entire universe, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a world of hurt even your twisted mind couldn't have imagined. Damn. Dolgons. Ah, I remember these guys. I will say this, they do look pretty, uh, pretty cool. Just saying. Not all that tough, really. I missed my shot. Ah, that's what they're gonna keep doing. Ah. Oh, come on! Come on! We can take him out. I'm not sure if we're actually supposed to win or if we're supposed to lose. But I'm gonna try and win as best I can here. Oh, did he just heal his buddy? Is that what just happened? Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. Oh, damn it. Come on. Uh, what's, what's going on? I can't move. Oh, they were doing a combo attack. Fudge. Oh, fudge nuggets. Uh-oh. Come on, can we take one of them out? Okay, we took out one of them. Oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh, we might be in trouble here, guys. Yep. Ah. <sighs> well, that one's. Oh no, no, no! We gotta go run all the way back. Fudge. Ah, that's gonna be a pain. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording here, guys, and start back up when we get back to the flux. In the meantime, I'll I'll do some level grinding because I, I want this episode to end. Let's see, if, oh, you, that's good. there we go. All right, you guys, I am back. I did some level grinding, and then I just ran here. As you can see, Oja and Rise are now level 70. And hopefully that's gonna be enough. I, I just love this phone room. I can't tell if that's a floor or just what. What what is it? I don't know. You know, it, it's just so beautiful. That's all I wanted to say. Oh yeah, we're gonna wreck them now. Try a combo attack. See how well we do. Ah, not bad. Not oh, 500. We got this. We got this. Oh. oh, come on. Did it just heal? There we go. Alright, combo. Can I hit them both? Because they're both up. Ah, I can only hit one. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, come on! Come on! No, 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 Come on. Come on, can we, can we take this guy out? All right, we can hit the other one at least. Ah. Oh, oh wait, no. Okay, I thought I was dead there for a second. Alright, come on. One down. And there goes the other. Alright. Ah, oh, almost 20 levels and I still couldn't beat him. I got diamond. And no, no experience. You don't get it, do you? The true power of the Spectrum is light! Yeah, they're literally light, aren't they? The days of the crawl are over, Crux! 
I applaud your effort. But the one who does not get it is you, my young spectral master. I will show you what true power is. Okay. Uh, okay, now this is one... This is the one where we can't beat it. Yeah, we can't do nothing. Ah, something's happening. <gasps> Flame Geo to the rescue! Haha! <laughs> the Geo, the ultimate form, came out to help me! What is this? You can wield the power of a Geo! You're too dark spelled over the history, and you're next! <laughs> Nothing funny? I underestimated your power. And I must say, this has been far more interesting than I imagined. But now you shall pay for what you did to my precious beast. <clears throat> I shall deal with you myself now, and you shall forever regret the day you anchor the muddy crux. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Wallen well, gets to fight him now. Ah, uh, it's just a sword battle. Haha, -ha, miss. And yeah, there we go. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. No! What the? Are you half crawl or something, Crux? At this point, he might as well be. How dare you get upon my true face! You may have won the battle, but the war is not over. And neither am I defeated. Uh, strange weakness. It overcoming me! Give it up, Crux. I've won. It's over! Oh, I don't think so, my young Spectral Master. It's over when I say it's over! <laughs> and he's gone. Huh? He's gone. I did it. I defeated Crux! Whoa, what was that? Wallen, do you read me? The whole planet is rumbling. You've got to get out of there. Fast! Come back to the cruiser. I'm on my way. Now, see, before I played Origins, I wondered if I actually killed Crux or not. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen my special Origins Let's Play. Crux lives. Ah, oh, I know if I'd be so glad to see you, Wallen. Yep, it's such a relief to have you back safe and sound. What happened to Crux? I showed him who's boss. And he fled. You defeated Crux? He never seems to amaze me. Hold on, you two. It's a bit too early for a celebration. We have to get off. Get out of here in one piece first. Why aren't you piloting then? Why are you standing around? Gone. Whew. We should be safe now. Ah. Uh, something wrong? It looks like Crux's planet disappeared into thin air. You mean, got destroyed. What? How's that possible? Hmm. 
thought the planet was somehow tied to its master, and once Fox was defeated, it disappeared too. Good, now we don't have to worry about that Carlos here attacking Nana Ill. It's finally over. We won for now. Yep, I can see you, Wallen. Well done, Wallen. I don't know how we could ever thank you. A pay raise. Wallen and Gina need a fucking pay raise. Or vacation. A paid vacation. You said the antenna in the old system? All who live in it. Oh, stop it, guys. You're embarrassing me. Oh, I almost forgot. I have great news. I got some leads on the whereabouts of the remaining geos. The high cost, though. No way, really? Yeah, I picked up a faint signal that could only come from the geos. I think that's close by. On the planet that just blew up. I can guess what our next mission is gonna be. I don't say that. Indeed, recovering the geos will ensure our safety should once again face another powerful enemy. Couldn't have said it better myself, Aldous. This is Commander Grant. We know who you are, dude. You don't gotta announce who you are every time. Are you alright? What happened? Mission accomplished, Commander. Well done. Well done! Peace has at last returned to Nana Earl thanks to you, Lee. You're in for a hero's welcome and for some well earned Western relaxation. No kidding. Thanks, Commander. Are you back? Old Nana Earl awaits. Ah, Nana Ill. Ancient home of the entire human race. Ah. Uh, yeah, Wallen, you take the controls. You got it, Gina. Mr. Te Technique will show you how it's done. Uh-oh. That's not concerning. Just make sure you come back in one piece. And that's an order, order Wallen. Oh man, not you too, Commander. Have some faith in me. Jeez. Ha ha ha, so it's not just me. <laughs> That's never a dull moment with you kids. Ah, uh, anyway, what do you say we get this puppy home? And, you know, fly the ship home too. <laughs> you got it. I'm gonna go full follow, so strap in. Alright. So that is the end of this let's play thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy this let's play and if you have been following this uh, let's play episode by episode then i'm sure you're just as as sad as i am to see it go but fret not there is a silver lining to this i said there would be a couple of bonus episodes and what I, I want to do is make one episode of about the geos, uh, not not geos, um, data cubes, and just go over what they what they do. All 30 of them. Uh, it probably won't take a half hour, but it'll, it'll be a bonus episode at least. And I was considering doing um, collecting all the other geos, um, doing like a little tournament to get them. But I don't want to do that because there's no real point in doing it to me. If you guys want to see what the Geo Geos look like, uh, you can check out the video on my channel, uh, Special Geos Animation, and see just how awesome they really are. Anyway, and um, more good news, maybe is I am considering doing a let's play of the original Spectrum's game, but with a twist. A twist. Um, basically, I, I, I don't know if it's because I'm using an emulator to record all this or what, but I cannot, for the life of me, handle the excavation. I don't know what it is, it's just bugging the hell out of me so much. So, what I'm considering doing 
is doing the let's play, but with um, all the excavation tools unlocked, like the like the Giga tool, which I'm pretty sure is in special form. Main reason is I I want to. Uh, just get the excavation out of the way. The uh, spectrals I will do by hand because I want to experience that. But I'm not 100% certain if that's something I would want to do uh, doing a let's play regardless. I don't know. I, I, I'm on the fence. So if that's something you guys would be okay with, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll see what I can do. But if you guys want me to do it uh, as no play the game normally, I probably won't end up doing a let's play. I I'm just throwing that out there for any of you who are uh, disappointed. It's kind of one way or the other. I I'm sorry, that makes me sound like a dick. I'm sorry. But I, I, I can't do the excavation on on emulator. I know I could when I had the it on the a DS, but I I'm using a mouse. A keyboard and mouse, and it's so, so difficult. Anyway, so, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, which probably will be out Monday. I, I, I want to say Monday, even though it's not Saturday or Sunday. Just because I want to kind of get that bonus episode out. and See what you guys... I think. But anyway, I, I again, I just hope you guys enjoyed this let's play. And if you did, leave a like on the video, comment down below on your thoughts of me doing a spectral let's play with the uh, Giga tool from the start, which I will be using cheat code for. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna pull that out there. Or, or maybe just all the minerals. I don't know. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And don't forget to go check out my other Let's Plays, uh, like uh, Scooby-Doo, Mystery Mayhem, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom, which I, I'm probably going to be uploading new episodes this week. Uh, my, my work schedule is actually pretty light. I uh, only work a couple days a week for about four hours. The reason why I haven't been uploading new episodes of them is just because I, I just been exhausted. Um, not the work itself, but the walk there and back is just well. Plus the work is just exhausting. It's like a two and a half mile walk to get there, two and a half back. So yeah, my feet are sore as hell. I, I'm I'm gonna try and get a bike and see if that helps. You know, cut down on um, walking. But anyway, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this episode and this Let's Play. And don't forget to go check out my other Let's Plays and leave them some attention if you wouldn't mind. I'd appreciate it. Till then, you guys, see you next time.